That's Tom Johnson, the, I should say, Tom Legato, the father of 24-year-old Joey Logano celebrating in the pits. The driver of the 22 car led just six laps, but the most important ones as he celebrates, and Matt Yoakum is there. The kid quarter midget racer dreamed of one day going big time and beating Jeff Gordon. You not only beat Gordon, you beat everybody else in the field. Your first 500. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. This is uh, absolutely amazing. The old karma train didn't work out for him so much, but uh, this is awesome. This is uh, Daytona 500. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? I was so nervous the whole, the whole race pretty much. And, uh, Man, uh, Tab, my spotter, crew chief Todd, all the guys on this team, they worked so hard over the off season. This is our weakest racetrack, so super speedways. We were terrible at them last year. We worked really hard, and hard work equals results every time. And uh, I, mean, I couldn't be more proud of Shell, Penzo, Coca-Cola, uh, Ford, everyone that helps us out uh, with this thing. It's unbelievable. Daytona 500. Oh. And then it boils down to a late restart. What was going through your mind? Everything. Um, I was trying to stay relaxed. That was the hardest part. You get a red flag and they give you the opportunity to think of everything, you know? And uh, Clint Boyer was a, the best pusher out there today and uh, he was able to uh, line up there at the end. We were able to push out ahead and then, uh, you know, saw him crashing in the mirror. And I think even if we got to the check out, I still felt pretty good about it. And just. Uh, what an awesome, I can't believe, I'm still in like complete awe. I don't, I don't even know what to say right now. You came to this team to find a new home and you did. By the way, your dad is stuck outside the gate across the track. He can't cross over. But <laughs> Roger Penske kept talking to you on the radio, kept telling you, pumping you up. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because how the whole team gets really quiet though. When you're about to win the Daytona 500, the yeah, red flag was just kind of quiet. We knew what we had to do. We had a really fast car. Um, just, you know, I had to make the right moves and not get snookered on the start and do something to make a mistake. and. Uh, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be saying right now. This is uh, this doesn't happen very often. You get one shot at this. It's such a build-up the whole weekend uh, to the Daytona 500, all the, all the qualifying races and all the drama you go through, and then to uh, you know be here at the end and have your car sitting out in the museum and whatever else comes along with winning this race. Uh, wow.